Hello, Tim here. I thought I'd give you some insight. What's too low? Hello, Tim here. I thought I'd give you some insight into how I get a show together. Um, basically, uh, the way it starts, the way the whole process starts, is uh, my tour promoter rings me up and he says, um, he says, you need to do a new show for the fans. And I say, have those three been ringing you again? And, uh, and basically I say yes, and yes is a very small word, but it immediately opens up a whole world of, of me struggling away in coffee shops and trying to write jokes. And what I first of all start saying to myself is that I'll write 15 jokes a day. Um, and that, I normally get that done by about 9.30 in the morning, that frees me up for the rest of the day to do whatever I want to do, um, which frankly is none of your business what I get up to, so uh, don't be so nosy. But, um, and then other days I'll perhaps book a uh, room in a library and I'll go and um, sit in a library and I'll, and I'll write there. And um, postcards is where I initially write the jokes. So here's an example of uh, some postcards I've got here. There they are. Um, and uh, dot, 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 dash, dash, dash. I really regret that. Remorse code. Jokes like that. That one for some reason didn't get through the, uh, the whole process. I don't know why. So, uh, so once I've got all these postcards, I then start trying out material. And I try it out in a place in Kingston um, every Monday night and it's called Outside the Box, run by a comedian called Math Brown, very nice bloke. And um, I go along there and I, I try out lots of different stuff. Yeah, Tim comes down um, probably about between, anywhere between 10 and 14 weeks in a row, uh, sort of 10 or 15 minutes each time, building up loads of nonsense uh, and some, some good stuff. There is some good stuff as well, but a lot of it is nonsense. <laughs> so this giraffe went into a pub and the bartender said, why the long neck? <laughs> but I've got a friend called Dora, and uh, I managed to get her into the England game the other day because all my tickets said Andorra. So <laughs> <laughs> no, apparently, this bloke said to me, he said, apparently people don't gossip as much as they used to. I said, so I've heard. <laughs> he said, uh, he said, and no one asked me to expand on my stories. I said, tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> Pelican, pelican, <laughs> ostrich, ostrich, Robin, nightingale, cuckoo. <laughs> to the right, you're gonna lean. To the front, then you're gonna lean back too. I went to the doctors and I said, I said, when I'm, um, I said sometimes, uh, what did I say? I said, yeah, sometimes, my, once in a while, and oh, no, not once in a while, occasionally, um, occasionally the organ did my chest gets out and heads off to Silverstone. He said, it's normal. Um, you know, everyone's uh, heart races once in a while. Yes, we don't. <laughs> Total eclipse of the heron. <laughs> Life after love. Share dealing. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mr. T. I don't drink coffee. I'd rather call him Mr. T. <laughs> It's, it's, you know you've got, what sort of act you've got when it's a result when someone in the front row hasn't got his head in his hands. <laughs> uh, well, between you and me, it's probably more a uh, miss than hit. And it gets to a point where we stop telling the audience he's going to come. Otherwise, people don't turn up, really. What are you filming? Nothing. Uh, just, uh, it's just stuff for... Um, uh, an audition tape that I've got to send off. Good old Mr. Jupiter Dharma. Daylight come and me want to go. Oh, nature. Oh, you know. <laughs> this bloke said to me, he said, um, he said, can you tell me, he said, can you name an Indian tribe that used to remove the top of people's heads? Now, hang on a sec. No, no, I've done that completely wrong. Oh, no, hang on. But can you, I might come back to that one. Anyway. <laughs> So, it turns out, I haven't got wispy hair. <laughs> Since they brought in the smoking ban, a, people, a lot more people have been um, giving up smoking, haven't they? But, I mean, murder's been banned for years, and the, those figures are going up. <laughs> what were you doing this morning? Um, sleeping. This is acceptable behaviour. <laughs> what were you doing this afternoon? Um, I was on a train, mostly. This is also acceptable behaviour. <laughs> and what were you doing just before you came here? Uh, I was having dinner. Smacky hands! <laughs> you appear to have just 
drifted slightly, so I may have to do just a little bit of old material just to get you back. Um, oh, no, apparently that comment was enough. So, if you played hide and seek in a nuclear facility, where would you hide? In the reactor, of course. In the reactor. Can I stop you there? Some of these hiding places seem a bit dangerous. That's not my fault. You never specify anything about safety. <laughs> <laughs> so I saw this baby crying. What a cry baby. <laughs> I walk off stage with my postcards and I put a tick next to the one that stays in, a cross next to the one that's out. And normally I end up with, with this is pretty much all crosses. Oh, look at the speed. Oh, God, look at that. It's Theo Warcock. <laughs> I went to Indonesia, um, Indonesia said and done, come on. No about staying in. Um, I, uh... Turn left and take two paces. Okay then, three paces. Rotate 45 degrees anti-clockwise. You have reached your destination. Now, you've got to get one, they're brilliant. <laughs> That's one way of uh, saving on filing your toenails, I think was the, the end of that joke. Um, but I say joke, let's call it a sentence. <laughs> I, you know, I saw this line, I said, hello mate. I said, how do you know it's me? I said, well, I, I, I never forget a face. But, uh, no, I didn't say that. I said, hello. <laughs> I said, how are you mate? He said, it's a lion. It was a lion. Oh dear, this was not going to work either. <laughs> And I said to him, hello mate, he said, how do you know it was me? You got that far. Uh, I said, well, I, I never forget. <laughs> I always forget a name. No, hang on, oh no, I, always, I never forget a face. No, I can't remember a face, but I never forget a name. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Do you know, I really, I really felt like I, I really wanted a, a McDonald's uh, today, so I went down to the McDonald's and there was a massive poster outside, a huge picture of a burger, underneath it said, there's only one Big Mac. I thought, well, I won't bother with it. <laughs> <laughs> and often blamed on the sweetie foods, as the curly whirly and uh, the double decker, but maybe these people, they can't help it. <laughs> uh, they have the big gums. <laughs> and then we have the people, <clears throat> keep going. <laughs> He has. Right. right there. I'm going to have to come with you. I'm going to have to come with both of you. Right. He said, uh, he said, you got any new cowboy films? I said, no. I said, it's, it's all quiet on the Western Front. <laughs> I can do a bit of beatboxing. Here you go. Bass drum snare. Bass drum snare. Bass drum snare. Bass drum snare. Woodblock cymbal. Here we are. Like, you, you kind of think, what's going on in this bloke's head? Chasing butterflies, chasing them. Chasing butterflies, chasing. I was very ambitious when I was in the circus. I was part of the human pyramid. I didn't care who I trod on to get to the top. <laughs> he said, What's an oxidant? And, uh, and it's actually an accident involving a cow. <laughs> with, it, with his catchphrase, it's me ligaments. Let's hear it for the limping chef. Yes! <laughs> This cheater, and, and I said to him, I said, in fact, he said to me, he said, Can you name your my favourite band, my favourite rock band? I said, Def Leppard. He said, Pardon? <laughs> I, I hate confrontation. Um, do, do you hate confrontation? I do, do you? Do, do you? I, I don't know if you do actually, but if I, if I look at you, I would say you do. You, see, you, you do hate confrontation. I do, I really do. Are you, I don't think you because I really don't like confrontation. I've got to stop the war coalition. Pardon? I've got to stop the war coalition. Hit you, John, hit you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm scared. What? what you said. No, no, listen, I don't, listen, I don't like it, okay? I don't like confrontation. I right? love it. What? I love it. See, what I'm doing, it doesn't matter. Look, I don't like confrontation. Alright, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> And there's a lesson. <laughs> One time, 
he, he got uh, 80 people in here to stand up, um, didn't explain why, and then I think he put some music on, and he got them all to march on the spot for about three minutes. I don't remember there being a punchline now, I think it was just marching, I think. I met a girl from Bolivia called Olivia She had beautiful skin She used Nivea <laughs> Olivia from Bolivia Who used Nivea She wasn't very smart In fact I've never met anybody Divia <laughs> Olivia, this is when I worry about house. <laughs> Olivia from Bolivia, I said, no, hang on. I said, Olivia from Bolivia, are you sure you want to live here? <laughs> she said, I, 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 I live here. <laughs> I said, I know you do, Olivia. She said, I'll do you as well. I said, no, I'm just saying your name. <laughs> she said, well, where would you like to live? I said, the Riviera. <laughs> she said, that's not even close. So we agreed to amicably part. As <laughs> <laughs> gentlemen, um, I don't think the memory of this gig is going to stay long in your mind. When I was a lumberjack, I put on a different shirt every, every, uh, after every tree. Yeah, always chopping and changing, that was me. <laughs> he said, you've torn your cruise ship um, ligament, which is fine by me, because I actually never go on cruise ships. <laughs> Good evening, I'll tell you what, the weather's weird at the moment, isn't it? The size of those green fly out there. Right, <laughs> He said, you are now approaching Mumbai. Please mind the gap, yeah, students. <laughs> um, <laughs> if it's alright with you, don't do that eerie pause before the laugh. <laughs> now, as you know, with um, if someone holds a can of um, spray paint in their hand and they and they put some, draw something on a wall, that's called graffiti. Um, I wonder if they hold it with their feet. Is it called grahandi? <laughs> is it? Uh, it probably isn't. <laughs> And the other thing, of course, when they're talking about the environment, they say you've got to, say, when you brush your teeth... <laughs> uh, that man's playing a flute at very high speed. <laughs> uh, it's not bad, actually, write that down. <laughs> no, I, well, you say you should brush your teeth and to, to use less water when you brush your teeth. Well, I'm, so I brush my teeth, with, I, just, I decided to use no water at all, just use toothpaste. And when I, work, when I went to work, people thought I'd been eating paint. So, uh, there's something you can try and make funny when you get home. <laughs> he said, do you want to come to my geology exhibition? I said, yeah. I said, what time should I rock up? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Snow White walked in and um, I said, how come you're called Snow White? She said, because that was the weather at the time. She said, what's your time? What's your name? What's your time? <laughs> what it is, Edgerine, I knew I didn't have very good stuff tonight, so I had a pint before I came on. Thank you. It's made the bad stuff worse. <laughs> But uh, that guy's laughed there. I tell you, don't trust it. He's ruined three tours for me. <laughs> no, Snow White. Um, she said to me, she said, what's your name? I said, well, it, it should be, um, uh, 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 Drizzle. <laughs> but you love it just like me. So why is Sitting Bull standing in your flower bed? I said, that's my cabbage Apache. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, I don't know what you, uh, what you guys did at work today, um, but that's what Tim did at home today. <laughs> All day, probably. <laughs> so the bottom line is, um, if you want to write a show, allow yourself to write rubbish, always try out the jokes, and cross most of it out. 9.35. Overtime.